morning. Man, it's, it's beautiful in West Texas. Good morning, Vietnam. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, Fishing Freaks. We uh, just had a little camp out. Myself, Mr. John B., Alex Perrick, um, Grant Langmore, a few other guys, and we are going out fishing again today. I'm in search for giant crappie. It's the morning, it is frosty, it is cooled off. We're gonna go get ourselves a nice warm burrito, good hot cup of coffee. And we're gonna journey out and try to get one of these big crappie. I don't, I don't know, I've had bad luck or just haven't been able to get it done so far, but I got a bass rod rigged up as well. We're gonna, we're gonna go try to get her done. I'm so glad you came. I know. Yeah, well, how could I not after last year? I know. Let's communicate in the water. I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna get a jump start because I have a feeling these guys are Parrick and Grant. A little behind. We yeah. might be. They might. We not. We not. We might not see them out in the water today. Let's yeah. be honest. Yeah. So I'm gonna sneak around these guys and then get myself a burrito. And if you get on something, perfect. Call me. I'll if holler. I get on something, I'll holler at you. I'm too. gonna be doing. Probably a lot of dabbling. Yeah, a lot of dabbling. Well, if I see some so crappie, if, if, if I you, see some crappie, if you see groups of crappie, or if I'm you actually going to go uh, up a creek, so I'm going to take a look. Are? I'm going to go up on that creek right next to the the, uh, the launch. I'm going to take a right, all right, get out of the wind. So I'm going to see if they're up there. If okay. they will, I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to I'm going to do my Yay! yeah Rackley crappie call. Teamwork. That's how they did it back in the day before cell phones. It's cold and it's windy. But we're still going fishing. Where are the crappie? I don't know. But we got a couple dangle sticks on our hand. The tug is the drug. Let's go have a good time today. Yeah, buddy. Oh, one pole, two pole. There we go. A new day, a new me, possibly? Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen. A little snacky down the hatch. This is my first stop. I just put down the trolling motor, hadn't put it on my camera yet. I said, I'm gonna come back here and check out these fish. They're tricky, they're real tricky, but I fooled that one. Biggins. There's some biggins down there. Big marks on the electronics. I've been out here working my tail off. I can't get these fish to bite. I've tried hair jigs. I've tried multiple different plastics, weight sizes, line sizes. The presentation has to be just right and you need you need a vertical presentation, but you can't get close to the fish. It's like they, they know what live scope is. And 25 feet seems to be uh, the distance where they will start to move off from the cover. So casting it to the cover, you know, 30, 40 feet away, uh, you get that swing, you know, that angle, you're reeling it through. You're not really getting a good vertical presentation where you could stick it over their nose. Uh, and I just happened to be on top of a couple of crappie and they were just, one was willing to bite. Um, they stay under the boat actually and not, not swim off. I'm going to abandon this crappie operation. I know that there's giants in here and, uh, I think that I've seen some pretty good ones on the electronics. So where I'm at is where I saw a bunch of fish yesterday and I thought they were bass, but I think some of them are crappie. Um, and there's just a mixture of, of things going on, but they're just moving a lot. They don't want to stick, stick to a, a tree. They don't want to bite. And, um, yeah, the rogue, the rogue ones I've seen suspended. I can't, I can't get those to bite either. I am going to head to the treehouse. We're going to, on another adventure. Uh, we're going to load up with the camper and head to uh, to trout camp. So from one fish camp to another, 
I'll see you guys at trout camp. down to the river gonna catch me a little tasty trout dinner yeah oh yeah y'all we got the camper hooked up last night left out early this morning sunrise coming up right now going from big bass lake to peaceful trout streams Getting rigged, got me a new trout net, new meat necklace this year. Just got my simple little trout box here. We're gonna start out with conventional. Try to get a couple. Come on, if that doesn't work, we're gonna switch. Shoo, we get a nippy. 29 degrees. That gets the old fingertips stiff. I'm gonna walk out here and throw a little spinner. Let's see what we can come up with. Let's see here. Yeah, oh man, this water's low. Crystal clear. Quite low. Okay, well, this is where we slip. Things get a little shifty. There we go. Alright. Oh, I'd say I feel a slight wetness upon entry. Okay. Stringer on. We're ready to go, baby. Ready to get some trout. Whew. Whew, it is a frosty mother trucker out here, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna walk out here. There's a little bar, a little sandy bar. There we go. We're gonna, we're gonna throw up in here. Oh, got one. First cast. Gotta be kidding me. Wow. It's fighting at my feet. Here we go. Fish number one. Get him in here in my new net. There we go. Pretty decent one to start the day. I cannot believe I just walked out here first cast. Just walloped one. That's awesome. Heck yeah, baby. Well, we're going to be eating good tonight. If we don't catch anything else, we got one good ear. It's fantastic. That's a good one. All right, we're going to put him on our brand new stringer. He can only keep three out here on this river, so... If this was a real tiny one, I would let him go, but he's not. Here we go. Simple as that. I got this little net here just connects back on to my deal. Here we go. We're fishing, baby. Shout out to a uh, young man that made me these spinners. I've got a lot of trout on them. <clears throat> Ooh, there's a little surface surface activity over here. Let's 
So we are on a meat hunting mission right now with the conventional pole. But my hope is to fill limit and then come back and try some fly techniques. But got to get mom of those trout. That's just order of business right now. Oh, oh no. Oh, that does not feel nice. That grabbed a hold of it. Oh, oh there it goes. I got it. That's a miracle. Fantastic. God, my hands are cold right now. Oh, look at that jumper, baby. Come on. I'm waiting for that sun to hit me on the face. Oop, there's one right there again. Right there, like, by my feet. Another decent one. Come on, baby. There you go. Do a dance. Do a dance. Good enough. Elite. So these fish are stocked trout. So these, these are stocked like weekly. And they will all die uh, in the summer. So all these fish are intended to be caught and then consumed. But you can obviously catch and release as much as you want. Just have fun. But <clears throat> you can't you can't keep more than three, and then you can't uh, can't cull your fish. So when you get one, you got to decide: do I let let it go right now, or do I put it on the stringer? And I uh, I'm pretty much just gonna throw whatever on the stringer right here, unless it's just a tiny mite. Come on, there you go. Oh yeah, we we'll get her done. We're getting her done. Her mama rocking right now. One more. We got a limit filled. Look at them shiny little babies in the water. Ooh, it's pretty. Simple little spinner. It is fun. It is fun on the light tackle. Oh my gosh, got another one. Whoa, yeah, little buddy. Yeah, this one might this one might be a releaser. It's a little squirter. Yep, yep. He's on the he's on the let go list. Did you get, oh yeah, you're just barely hooked. Barely hooked there, my friend. Unhooked. Release him back into the beautiful clear water. See you, my friend. All right, one more to use you want. This is a slow retrieve, guys. Slow. That is the key to it. First time I came out here, it took me a long time to figure that out. Many, many, many casts. This water is cold. Now, trout are way more active than bass in cold water, but still need to have a slow presentation.
There we go. Of course, it helps. When your hands are really cold, you want to go slower, so. There we go, there's a decent one there. But that's going to be our final one. Look at that pretty trout dance. Yeah, I don't know, we might could do a little bit better than that. Phew, that's pretty. I don't know, I'm catching them so good that I might get a little selective here. Might get a little selective. That is a beautiful rainbow trout though. Look at that. I don't care if you did come from a farm. You're pretty. Alright. I probably should have kept that one. They're going to stop biting. That's how the rules of fishing goes. But I'm going to give her one more shot and try to get a bigger one. Woo! Got ice on my guides. That's when you know. Look at that, guys. Ice. <laughs> ice on the line. I'm testing the limits with the gear here. Don't have to worry about that with fly rod, I don't think. I love this pole, guys. I just can't even tell you. I mean, I literally, this is the same pole I was just crappie fishing with. Take it out here and trout fish. I love that about it. This micro series is coming out, coming out in February. So, you guys can finally get your hands on them. Gosh, one just jumped right in front of me. Come on, big and oh, I think I just had a bump. Bump me. Get a little bump here. Come on. Slow wine. Grind for the dime. basically just trying to reel it just slow enough where it doesn't touch the bottom. That's it. Come on, baby. It's a morning, morning bite. There we go, come on. Come on, be a stud. Mm. God, look at that pole. This, oh yeah, this one's got a little dig on it. It's twirling, it's twirling, but it feels, it's got a little, eh, it's about the same. It's an eater. I'll go ahead and edit. it. There we go, long skinny guy. Yeah, loving this new net. Got one without the the standard rope netting, and it is just way more efficient and probably better on the fish. All right, guy. You're gonna go on the dinner table, so I'm just gonna kind of manhandle you here. Ooh, you almost got out. You ever had your hands so cold you don't even know when you're hooking yourself? That's where we're at right now. Alright. We get our third fish. Fill the limit. And we'll probably make a few more fun casts. We'll do a little bit of that.
We are limited out on trout. I'm going to say within 10 minutes, my friends. That is pretty darn good. Now, my mission is going to be with the fly. So I'm going to make a couple more casts here. I'm probably going to go get my fly rod. And we're going to try to dial this in here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we get it done on the old uh, on conventional. But now, so I keep a fly rod up in the truck. We're gonna break that out, and we're gonna we're gonna give it a whirl. Whew, my fingers are dysfunctional right now. They are colder than a witch's. You know what? On winter's eve. My gosh. Now I can't keep any more today, but we're just gonna go fishing for fun with the fly. So have a good time, get that long rod stretched. Whew, this feels good. Just feels good after the last couple days, having a hard time getting some meat on the necklace. Now we're getting it done. Okay, we're gonna put the old switcheroo on them here. We are going. I got a tippet on here, but I'm going to put a four pound leader. Why not? When in Rome, just going with a standard uni uni splice here. Then we're going to throw an indicator on. I am I'm pro. I'm a pro setup here. Okay, now we're in business. Yep. Yep. Here we go. We're gonna slide on in there. first bite. Well, that was quick. A bite on the mega worm. Got him. Oh, goodness. Goodness, I'm getting bit here. Fly fishing. I am fly fishing right now. Made the transition. Ooh, little runner. Come on. Oh my. Oh man. Look at me. Look at me playing him. This so much fun on the fly. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty fun. Oh, that's awesome. Alright, let's net this guy. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's a good one too. That's awesome guys. Oh my god. Look at that. My buddy Lance tied this fly. It's a mega worm. It's 
little orange orange worm thing. Looks like it would get a big one too. Just barely hooked him in the schnoz. Just popped out. Look at that. Awesome. Be a good one to keep, but we can't do it. I already kept our three, so really fun. I want to try that again. Look at that. Cool fish care too. Oh yeah. Let's get her going, baby. Oh yeah. They're jumping. Baby, fly time. That was so cool. Four pound test, didn't break it. Oh, there we go. Come on, baby. Smoked it. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. on this thing would be awesome. I have to give that a try. There we go. Not as big, but just as fun. Look at that. Fly just popped right out. Thank you, sir. Beautifully done. I'm going to give myself a little thumbs up right there. Why don't you join me in the comments? Why don't you join me in that endeavor? Look at that. Look at that little thing. Crazy. Oh, see me a surfacer over here. Oh, got him. Look at that. Oh, God. That feels like a big one. That feels like a real big one. Just wait. Come on, baby. What we got here? Oh, I tail hooked him. No wonder. I don't know how that happened. It's a tiny one that I tail hooked. He slapped it. He slapped it and we slapped him back. You, buddy. All right, fishing freaks. I've got my limit of fish in the cooler. I got me some some fly dangle on. Got that big rod bent. It's pretty fun. So I'm gonna stay out here a little longer, and uh, and I'm gonna try to dial that fly in. See if I can really get on them. Thank you guys for staying with me on today's video of traveling all the way. Uh, basically about seven hours apart uh, going from a stream to to a lake or a lake to a stream got the camper good to go got got the solar panels cleaned off we're soaking in energy right now we'll crank that heater up tonight and then in the morning we're gonna get that fly dialed in if you guys want to stay tuned for that subscribe right here to the channel and thank you for tuning in to all my outdoor adventures go have you one and god bless you while you're out in it and i'll see you on the next one